Hey everybody, Krista here, and if you're heading over to Bush Gardens in Tampa, I'm gonna go over all of the top attractions that you can't miss while you're there. So let's get into it. Bush Gardens in Tampa is such a fun park and there are so many things to do here. The whole park is broken down into a few different sections. So when you first enter Bush Gardens, you'll step into Morocco. The Morocco area is filled with a lot of great shops and food stops. So if you want to grab a bite to eat before you start your day, there are plenty of choices to choose from in this area. Also in Morocco is the Mayombe Reserve where you'll get a chance to see the chimpanzees and the gorillas. When you first walk in, you'll see the chimpanzees and the gorillas are just a short walk afterwards. I think this whole area is just beautiful and I love being able to stand here and watch the chimpanzees and gorillas, especially the baby gorillas that can usually be found caught playing in the background, which is so cute. Just a short walk from the Mayombe Reserve is the alligators, and these alligators are massive, and they tend to love to sunbathe on the outer banks of the rim of the pond. So if you ever wanted to get this close to an alligator, you'll have to swing by here and come and see them. If you keep going straight after you visited the alligators, you'll walk straight into the Egypt area, which is where you can see the cheetahs at the Cheetah Run exhibit. This exhibit will give you that opportunity to get closer to the cheetahs than ever before by an elevated glass paneled viewing area. Several times during the day, the trainers will do a presentation or you'll get a chance to learn more about the cheetahs. And the exciting part is that you'll also get a chance to witness the world's fastest land animal in action. The Bush Gardens trainers will conduct daily sprints where hopefully you'll get a chance to see the cheetahs at full speed. After you've experienced the cheetah's top speed and want to be able to experience this for yourself, then you'll have to walk over to the cheetah hunt. The cheetah hunt is one of my favorite rides in the entire park, and it was built to be a celebration of the fastest land animal. The cheetah hunt is Tampa Bay's longest roller coaster, and this triple launch roller coaster will carry you high above the park and then race you down along the ground through the rocky gorge. This roller coaster is a total length of 4,400 feet and I love it. It's definitely one that I feel you absolutely have to try while you're here. Right next to the cheetah hunt is the sky ride and at the time of filming the sky ride was temporarily closed and I wasn't able to get footage of it in action but I have been on this before and it is an amazing view of the rides and animals within the park. Just across from the sky Sky ride in the cheetah hunt is the Serengeti Safari Overlook, which is one of my favorite places to grab a bite to eat because it gives you this amazing view of the Serengeti Safari while you eat. If you walk behind the Serengeti Overlook, you'll come across the Cobra's Curse, which is Florida's first family spin roller coaster. This one-of-a-kind roller coaster features a menacing 30,000-pound snake king and a 70-foot vertical lift that takes you within inches of its three-foot-wide eyes and four-foot-long fangs. During this three and a half minute ride, the coaster trains will spin along at 40 miles an hour down 2,100 feet of serpentine-like track, traveling backwards, forwards, and then spinning freely. This roller coaster is definitely a unique experience and it's different every single time you ride it. Right next to the Cobra's Curse is the Montu, and this intense inverted roller coaster is a favorite amongst coaster enthusiasts. This roller coaster will climb you high into the air and hold on for a twisting drop, a 60-foot vertical loop, and an Immelman loop, which is a weightless roll that is only the beginning of this inverted roller coaster. The Montu has seven inversions and a unique Batwing inversion and was the first roller coaster in the world to incorporate an Emmelman loop, which is a simultaneous loop and a roll. 
If you walk just north of the Montu, this will take you into the edge of Africa. The edge of Africa is a walkthrough attraction where you'll get an opportunity to view a number of different African animals that include the meerkats, hyenas, lions, lemurs, as well as one of my favorites, the hippos. While we were at the hippo exhibit, we were able to catch the hippo talk, which gives you a chance to watch the trainers feed the hippos, which is really fun to be able to see her dive under the water and find where they threw this lettuce. My other favorite thing to do at the Edge of Africa exhibit is to go over to where you can see the Serengeti plane to watch the giraffes. If you want to get an even closer look at the giraffes, you can add on the Serengeti safari to your day, which is an add-on encounter. During this tour, you'll ride in the back of the truck right into the middle of Bush Gardens Open Range Serengeti Plain exhibit and get a chance to hand feed giraffes. I loved this experience and recently featured it on my channel. So if you missed it and want to be able to see this encounter up close, then I'll plug the video up at the top right now. After you've walked out of the edge of Africa, you'll walk right into Nairobi. While you're in Nairobi, make sure that you check out the penguins at the Penguin Point exhibit, which is always really fun. I think the penguins have so much personality and are always fun to watch. Right next to the penguins is the Animal Connections exhibit. If you want to get up close and personal with sloths, parrots, lemurs, and some flamingos, and a number of different reptiles, you'll have to swing by this area. It's kind of easy to miss because it's a little off the main walkway, but I love coming through here and getting a peek of the sloths when I visit. As you exit Animal Connections, you'll come across the tortoise exhibit to your left, which is always really fun to see as well. Just across the walkway from the tortoises is the Serengeti Express train station. A ride on the Serengeti Express train is an awesome way to be able to experience the beauty and scale of Bush Gardens Serengeti Plain. This train travels in a circle around parts of the park and through the Serengeti Safari Plain and is a relaxing train ride with a great view of their free roaming herds of African animals, including giraffes, zebras, antelope, ostrich, and many more. Just north of the Serengeti Express train is the Serengeti Outpost. This is where you can go if you want to do the Serengeti Safari Tour. You can also book your tour here, or if you already have your tour booked, this is where you would go to check in. Just north of the Serengeti Outpost is the Animal Care Center. If you want to get a chance to closely observe and even take part in the animal care at Bush Gardens, you'll have to head over to the Animal Care Center. If you walk just past the Animal Care Center, you'll walk right into the Asian elephants. And these elephants are just beautiful, and I love being able to stand here and watch them. If you want to get an even closer look at the elephants, there is also an insider tour that you can do. During this tour, you'll get a behind the scenes look and meet the keepers and observe how they train and work with these incredible animals. After you've passed the elephants, you'll enter into Pantopia, which is our next land in Bush Gardens. Pantopia is a unique area and I love the colorful architecture here. In Pantopia, there's a number of places to grab a bite to eat, as well as a unique shop to go through. But the big draw to Pantopia is definitely Falcon's Fury. I have to admit, Falcon's Fury is probably one of the scariest rides that I have ever experienced and I even even vowed to never go on it again, but you know what? I did it for you guys. What I find so scary about Falcon's Fury is that it not only takes you up 335 feet, but it also turns you 90 degrees face down and holds you for what feels like a lifetime before dropping you to the ground going 60 miles an hour. And just in case you were wondering, it's just as scary as I remembered it to be. 
Also in Pantopia is the Scorpion, and the Scorpion is a classic and one of only three roller coasters of its kind remaining in the world today. This roller coaster pulls you through a 360 degree loop and speeds you up to 50 miles per hour. Also in Pantopia is the Sand Serpent. This wild mouse style family roller coaster zips, zooms, and climbs five stories in the air before bringing you back down. After leaving the Sand Serpent and crossing over the bridge, you'll enter into the Congo area. When entering the Congo area over the bridge, the first attraction that you'll come across is Kumba. Named for a distant roar of the king of the jungle, you'll get to see why this legendary roller coaster still reigns over so many list of favorites. After the thrill of the initial 135 foot drop, you'll plunge into a diving loop, feel a full three seconds of absolute weightlessness while spiraling 360 degrees. This is one of the world's largest vertical loops and enthusiasts have consistently voted Kumba as one of the world's best roller coasters. Also in the Congo is the Congo River Rapids. This ride will send you twirling down and racing through the rivers of Congo. And while you're on there, be prepared to get absolutely soaked. After leaving the Congo, you'll walk straight into Jungala. And Jungala is where a couple of my favorite animal exhibits are. First, there are the tigers. And the Bengal tigers here are just beautiful. And if you're lucky, you can get pretty close to them if they're hanging out in the right areas. If you want to get even closer, you can take the tiger trail behind the tiger lounge. And there is an observation dome that you can climb up into that will take you in inside the exhibit. Don't worry, this dome is absolutely safe and the tigers don't seem to mind it too much. Right next to the tiger lounge are the orangutans. Every time that I visited, they're always really close to the glass like this and at the time of filming, there was also this really cute baby that could be found playing around with numerous items in the background. Also in Jangala are the tree top trails. At the time of filming, this area was currently closed, but it is a fun family area with climbing nets, bridges, crawl tubes, as well as a number of multi-level mazes for the bigger kids, plus a water play area for the younger ones. If you walk just south of the orangutans, you'll enter into our next area, Stanleyville. In this area, the next ride that you'll come across is Tigris. Tigris catapults you through an exhilarating array of looping twists in a forward and a backward motion, breathtaking drops, a 150 foot skyward surge, and an inverted heartline roll, all at 60 miles an hour. And Tigris has more than 1,800 feet of steel track designed to mimic the agility of the world's largest and most powerful cat, the tiger. Right across the way from the Tigris is Stanley Falls Flume. This family-friendly log ride is perfect for your younger kids. If you're looking for a really great way to cool off on a hot day, then you'll have to take a ride on this one. Just south of Stanley Falls Flume is the Shikra. On this roller coaster, you'll climb 200 feet to the edge of a 90 degree drop that slowly inches you over the edge and then stops. Then surrender to the speed as you dive straight down through a 70 mile an hour whirlwind through an Emmelman loop. Then you'll take a second dive into an underground tunnel and a final splashdown finale that drenches people awaiting for a cool down. Also in Stanleyville is one of my other favorite eateries and bush gardens, the Zambia Smokehouse. I love this smokehouse because they offer a lot more than just the typical burger and fries. And with your food, you also get this beautiful shaded area all around you and enjoy this awesome view of the Shikra as you eat. 
Stanleyville is also where you can catch the other side of the Serengeti train. If you walk south from Stanleyville and over the bridge, you can come across Sesame Street Safari of Fun. This family-friendly area is where the little ones can enjoy kid-friendly rides, cool water fun, and plenty of memorable adventures with Sesame Street friends. Throughout the day, they also do meet and greets with your favorite characters, so keep an eye out for those times. As you walk south from Sesame Street, you'll come across the Bird Gardens. In this area, you'll be able to see flamingos, toucans, and a number of other birds. Also in the Bird Gardens are the kangaroos, and you won't want to miss the kangaroo area because look at this, look at how cute they are. If you want an even closer view of the kangaroos, there's also a feeding experience here as well. Actually, while I'm talking about it, there is a feeding area in a lot of the different animal exhibits throughout the park. So if you want to get closer to the kangaroos, the elephants, turtles, or even the sloths, you can book them through the website or through guest services when you enter the park. If you want to get even more information before booking one of these feeding experiences in the park, I did a complete overview of the Serengeti Safari Tour that just popped up on your screen. So until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.